if you can change something about your past, what do you what what do you change and why? Well, that's a nice question. Um, hmm. I would say that I would not change anything, but I, if I have the chance to go back in a time capsule, I would say to myself in certain moments to be more, to be less afraid of, of fail, to be more capable, to accept failure, to accept mistakes. In the very beginning of my life, I'm a perfectionist, as maybe some of you guys might know it. You know, I built bikes, I was a dentist, so I was very much focused and concentrated and fascinated about little things and, you know, turning something and that thing has to stay there as much as possible forever. But unfortunately, that mentality applied to the real life doesn't really work because we don't work that way. We're not mechanical. We're, we're not robots. We are people and people lives on emotions and emotion might change. It's a state of mind. It's chemistry that might change from one moment to another. And so I was not accepting myself when I was failing. I was not accepting myself when I was not taking good grades at school. I was not accepting myself Well, I was, you know, not able to find the girl that I loved at the time and, and you know, show myself for what I thought I was, but she couldn't see it. And so I was very much angry with myself in certain moments. And, you know, little by little, you need to, you, you need to learn how to let yourself go and be more gentle with yourself because we deserve to be gentle first with ourselves and then with other people. If you, if you're not gentle with yourself, you cannot be gentle with others. So it's very much that you start, that, that you tell to yourself, imagine guys that you have like, this really changed because I met a guy one day and he said to me, what would you say if you see yourself as a young kid right now in front of you? What would you say? And I, and I started to say certain things and I was very angry at him. And it was like, why are you that angry? And, it was, and I was like, well, because, you know, I wanted to change this. I wanted to change that. And it was like, well, the child is not able to do that. You are as, a, as an adult to do that. The child is only able to dream and to try to make that dream real. So don't be that hard on your child because what you're doing is basically you're doing that hard on yourself still now because that child is what we have here in our heart. And so that really opened my mind. Little by little, I started to understand that, you know, you, you need to treat yourself better if you want a better life. You need to treat yourself better if you want better, if you want better friends. You need to treat yourself better if you want a better husband, a better wife, a better kid, if you want people to be nicer with you, you need to be nicer with yourself first and then with them. So it's very important. And I would say that, again, answering your question, um, yeah, I would say to myself, chill, relax, it's fine. There's no need to be that hard on yourself. Do the mistakes that you need to do, learn from it and grow and go over, fall forward. Um, yeah, that's something that I would love to do with myself in the past, but I can do it right now. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do. So I hope that um, I'm able to. And I mean, you know, for example, the other day, uh, a month ago, I started to play this thing. Okay. I did it when I was uh, 12. And it's funny because at the time I couldn't do it. I do it for like a month. And um and the teacher was very hard on me, was like, you're not able to play this guitar, you're not able to, to become a guitarist, you're not able to play in the church with, that, with the other kids. And I was so unhappy about the fact that he was making fun of me in front of the class that it kind of shocked me to the point that I decided not to try to do it just because I was afraid that people were, you know, misjudging judging me, judging me in a bad way. And I was not able to do it. So I decided to put this guitar into the drawer and this exact guitar i found it now that i'm living in my grandmother's house which unfortunately she passed away and because i moved to la i i decided to rent my place in rome so i didn't have a place to stay i came i came here i found out this i i didn't even remember where this was this is exactly that guitar and so in one month i started to play it uh with simone the friend of mine that i post videos with and um you know in one month i started to learn things that I couldn't imagine to be possible for me. Like, 
I can learn a song in 10 minutes now, which is crazy. And I, I was able to do this because I was able to, you know, take, take my time and say to myself, if you cannot do it, if you cannot do it, do it again. Fine, do it again, do it again, do it again until the moment you will, you will succeed. Don't, you know, don't be angry at yourself. And I think that's the mistakes that as a society, we tend to be with ourselves. Because we have to succeed. We have to succeed economically. We have to succeed in life. We have to succeed and, and you know, and if with family, with the people around us. But at the very end of the day, it's just that we have to succeed with ourselves. So, you know, we have to be happy with ourselves. And if you're not happy with, with yourself, but you're happy because people think that you are in a certain place that you have to be there but you're not happy it doesn't count a shit you know it doesn't really count nothing so be gentle with yourself take yourself as a little kid and 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 show him the way to to achieve things and it really changed my mind it really changed my life so whatever <laughs> let's go back to the question um spoiler man i can spoil you that the second part of the movie will be out in July and I'm pretty sure that now Ellie or Tosca is gonna be mad at me but I don't care <laughs> so uh, so yes I would say that July I think is the, the right time to deliver the second movie the second part of the movie um, Julio do you make a special accent to play Gabriel show us please well it's uh, <laughs> Well, it's uh, it's uh, it's an American accent. Tosca, don't be mad at me. Ah, Ellie, come on. Um, <laughs> guys, please defend me because they're getting mad at me already. Spider Man has done it again, but they're not happy about it. Uh, the accent. Well, it's an American accent, so I would say that I would, you know, I would say understand, understand, and he'll say understand, and things like you know. Uh, I would say hospital because I learned English in the UK in England and they would say hospital things like that you know I, I don't have now a, a phrase that I can say but it's a very different accent uh, what to say exactly I'm spoiler man and I have to do it Ellie I'm sorry what do you think about Hannah Harrington uh, she's a lovely girl I loved it so much we had so much fun during uh, during the um, uh, walking in sunshine movie she's she's fantastic we're super friends still and she's doing great she's doing a lot a great career as a singer too she's amazing so just 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 but uh kind words towards anna um cosa manca di più nel periodo corona well i would say uh what i missed the most about the corona period in the corona period because i was in a corona quarantine because i was at home with my with my dog with my you know with my family and I'm Italian, so I love to see my mom, I love to see my dad, I love to see my nephew, I love to see, you know, I have all my friends. We are very affectionate people, so we love to hug each other, we love to share loves and emotions, and so I would say that that was very much a part of something that was missing. But, again, uh, no, no, voy a hablar, no voy a hablar espanol ahora, no voy a hablar espanol ahora, por favor, porque a mi colega no está, no está está pronta por eso tengo muy confusión en la mi cabeza ahora pero hablo un poquito de español tenemos una novia de Argentina cuando teníamos uh, 20 años y por eso lo entiendo mucho lo hablo un poquito menos pero lo, lo, lo hablo lo, 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 creo I mean, lo puedo hablar chao amore mío chao amici chao chao te voy a un pene con esta panchona gigante no veo la divertirte Dimitri madonna l'ora che ti nasce questo fagiolino che ti venga fuori subito uh, anyway uh, Giulio do you want a date with me? yeah why not absolutely if you guys can if you guys want um, you can actually try to see if um, if I can accept a direct we can do a direct together so ask me a request and uh, I see if I can connect with one of you and then I gotta go guys because tomorrow I have another audition I need to study a lot so I need to I need to go back to my books but um, yeah try to send me um, try to send me a request let's see if I can I'm so excited 
do you think you and Melanie will work together again? Yeah, absolutely. We have to do the second and third book and the fourth most probably. And I really hope that we will have the chance to work to, together in general on other projects because she's the best partner. Oh, wow. She's going to be mad at me, guys. So please defend, defend, defend me from her, okay? Gosh. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You're are you busted. mad at me Oil, about the second movie? Um, a little bit? A little bit, a little bit, but it's okay. We were going to tell it in about a week, but thanks a lot for I'm kidding. <laughs> but Tasha will tell you. Tasha will tell you, so you're in trouble. With something, guys. Come on. Chef. This is <laughs> my job. It's okay. I have some good pictures that I can share with everyone today of you. I think they'll like them. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. What pictures are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's a good one. Yep. Do it. Don't do Thank it. You. Don't do it. Either. Okay, listen, we can say this. Me and Ali have this very strange, weird uh, joke. So <laughs> from time to time, we send each other very weird pictures. And the most common one is the, the, the neck picture. <laughs> Which is basically me, like this, and making the most weirdest faces. So I have yours too, um, Ali. So be careful. But I haven't sent too many lately. So I have. Well, I have, I have, I have a couple of you that are very good. So don't worry, they'll be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Are you okay. good? Are you happy? Everything is is okay. Everything's good. Yeah, we're just excited to get the movie out. And, can't um, wait. I, me too. Me too. I'm really excited. I'm really sad that we can't do the live premiere, though. But we're, we're planning on it for part two, yeah. if we can. I know. I know. Such a pity. But we will find a way to meet the, you know, all the people, the, the fans. Absolutely, we have to. I'm pretty yeah. sure as soon as the coronavirus emergency is down, we will organize some great stuff. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll make an announcement soon, but we're gonna do um, kind of a watch party and then plan to have you guys on an Instagram live so everyone can have a red carpet experience and watch That's from good. home. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Listen, I wanna I wanna try to talk with somebody and then I gotta go. So yeah. Um, okay. I'll talk to you soon. Miss you very okay. much. You too. Say hi to Tosca from me and um, I will. And nothing. I hope to see you as soon as possible. So guys, let's see. I'm gonna choose another one. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see.